this demo I'm going to show you how to use icon fonts with Oracle ADF application. So icon fonts are a very popular way to add various icons to your application by actually using fonts that represent the icons. And there's a lot of them that are out there available for free, can make your application look richer. So over here, if you actually do a search for icon fonts, the most popular one right now is Font Awesome. So I'm going to show you how to use that one. If you go to that site, you can actually download the font itself. This is a zip file with a directory. And then you can go into the examples and see how to use it in HTML. In regular HTML, all you need to do is reference uh, the font uh, CSS file and then use those type of classes in your code. In ADF faces, it's a little different. You don't actually want to reference the external CSS file. You want to reference your skin and actually incorporate those styles into your skin. So what we're aiming to do is basically create a page that looks like this. We have various buttons and links that are using those type of icons. So let's see how we did this. So what you do is you create a new skin in ADF faces. If you don't know how to create a skin, just watch one of my older videos about skin creation. And this would actually create a new directory for you over here. Okay, with the skin CSS file that you can see over here. Okay, into this directory you copy the font awesome directory. So this is basically what you downloaded from their site. So this now becomes part of your skin. Okay, and they would ask you to reference this CSS in your pages. And again, instead of referencing this CSS directly, we are going to incorporate content from this CSS into our skin CSS. So the main thing that you want to reference is this thing, the font face. Okay, so you can just copy it into your skin CSS. And then if you scroll further down in the skin, in this CSS, you'll actually find out references to the various icons. So we're going to first copy this over, and this is what we did in our file. And after you copied the font face, uh, you actually need to update the URL to most of the files. So just go over those and you need to now point to the new location of all those files and those are basically under the fonts directory that you see here. Once you have the relative path defined here, the next thing is to start defining the various styles that you're going to use in your application. And what you're going to do here is again you can just copy the uh, content basically from the font awesome mean CSS okay but you need to additionally add this entry called font family so font awesome okay and um, so for example here I define a uh, one icon that is called heart and then we have another icon uh, for male that is after that one okay um, and that's all you need in your skin once you have this in your skin in your actual JSF page, you're just going to add a style class, okay, as you can see here, to the various components in your page. If you want um, your icon to be bigger, you can use an inline style and basically resize the font to make the font larger, which is what you're seeing, for example, me doing over here. So at the end of the day, you'll get something that looks like this. The style class would reference the class in your skin. If you need a bigger font, you just add this component here. Of course, you can also have in your skin, directly in the styles, the specific font size that you want if you want uh, generically to have bigger icons. And that's all you need to do. Once you do this, you'll be able to run your application and have those new icons. If you actually want to see the source of those um, files that I just showed you, just go to my blog and I'll have everything over there.